Hi everybody, this is Mel, and today we're playing the new 1.6 content for Stardew Valley. Um, now, unfortunately, we won't be able to continue our 1.5 playthrough because I did lose all of the save information when my uh, computer had to be uh, rebuilt <laughs> from scratch. Um, I'm not quite sure what caused that, but we're here now. Um, one of the new things I've noticed already on the uh, 1.6 content here is that the uh, there are little tool tips down here when you load up the game. Um, I've seen one about uh, the last light in Elliot's novel. I've seen one about um, what was it about Journey of the Prairie King. So those are just some really cool new things to see. Um, I'm just going to get my character set up here. Uh, and I just want to have some earrings. There they are. No? Yeah, so I just want some earrings. Um, let's change our cat here. Um, now I've already tried to do this recording once uh, and the audio was super messed up so we're trying again. Um, but as you can see here it looks like we've got a few new animal companions like these dogs look new and I think these cats are new too. I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, I can see the contrast in the different colors here a little bit easier so this is the one for us. And then we're also going to start off with the new Meadowlands farm. It's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. Um, I'm real excited about this one. Um, I usually don't branch out into these other farm types very much, so this is going to be new and exciting for me. Um, oh no! Uh, Okay, we're just gonna go through this real quick. I'll be back with you guys as soon as I got the character set up again. Okay, here we go. Set up again. We're ready. Let's do this. Guys, welcome back again to Stardew Valley. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. Some number of years later, we're working at Joja. This guy is working hard. Okay, everything looks the same so far at this Joja scene. I don't see anything new or different with the new update. Like the skeleton's still there. You're still struggling. These computers are huge, by the way. I think PT stands for Pelican Town. Dear Mel, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. 
so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, MPG Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Being able to inherit a farm and some land from somebody sounds like a real dream. Like, I know a lot of people my age are looking to be able to escape the city and go do chickens in a little farm somewhere. But we're not there yet, and we're not at that point in life, so we're gonna play Stardew instead. Hello, you must be Mel. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you follow me. <coughs> this is MPG Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's a big, it's quite a big deal. So I'm looking around here and I'm noticing that the food bowl is in a different location. Um, and there's a little bit more space back here behind the cottage than there are than there is on the uh, original farm types. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Mel. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oomph. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out some custom voices for these two in a little while. Um, doing the grandpa voice, I think, is all the creativity I have right now. <clears throat> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck! <laughs> oh, they cut off the chicken. Oh, this is cute! So the insides of each of the different farm cottages is different. So we've got a little plant. We've, we're actually starting off with a dresser, which is kind of overpowered. And then we've got a little chair to sit in front of the fire. This is great. Okay, and then we're starting off with hay instead of seeds, because we're starting with the chickens instead getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Feed your chickens each day by letting them eat grass outside or by placing hay into their troughs. Once they are mature, harvest an egg. Harvest an egg from your chickens. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some new people, some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. So you gotta go greet everybody. 
Um, don't worry about me stuttering over the words. I read faster than I speak, and so sometimes I get a little bit ahead with ahead with the words. Um, here is our coop. I'm just gonna open that up for them. Get some chickies. We got one white and one brown, which is a great combination to start with. Um, we've got a little waterfall here, which is really cute, and there's the greenhouse. Let's reorganize our tools here. There we go. Um, I do expect the tools to be in certain places on my heart hot bar. So, and that's left over from Minecraft. So I like having them in similar places. Play Stardew as well. I'm just gonna clean this out a little bit so they have more room for more grass to grow. Um, this looks like that blue grass that the description was talking about. Um, I don't know how that's gonna be different yet. I'm hoping it feeds them better, or is a little more resilient, because the regular grass that disappears so fast and it takes forever to regrow. Up here to clean up. Okay, that looks pretty nice and tidy. Uh, I am gonna leave that tree there because it looks nice. Get this cleaned up. <gasps> okay, well, the good news is um, can I craft a new fence post? Yes. Uh, the good news is, is that's just fence and the tree was in the way so they wouldn't have gotten out but and honestly they still stay on the farm even if they get out um, I just don't like the chickens and the animals all everywhere all over the farm it gets kind of annoying to have to push them out of the way um, let's see what else we've got here so there's the food bowl okay so there's the hobby area for your spouse Let's see what else is on this farm. Weeds. Um, let's just kind of travel through here. Oh, come on. It's so awkward trying to pick up items when you're used to having the magnet rings to pick everything up for you. greenhouse and there's the little waterfall river behind it oh that river goes quite quite far is there any way to get across the river here um, there's gotta be I haven't seen Grandpa's shrine yet. There's this fence in the way. Well, that's really interesting. So you can't break that fence down. Interesting. Well, I'm sure that'll get unlocked sometime. There's the big pond. There's a little pond. Okay, 
So that's an interesting start. Um, well, let's go this way and we'll see who we can find to say hello to. Oh, that's new. This big tree right here. That's new. Yeah, there's a bunch of big trees over here now. That's super new. Hi, Jazz. Hi. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, that's really interesting. not on the dock, so let's just keep moving on here. Oh, there's Haley. Oh, you're in that... Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Haley's too involved with her camera to notice you. That's fine. At this point, she's just going to bully me, so I don't really... I'm not too worried about having a big conversation with her. An extended conversation. Okay, let's stop here, see who's home. Is Jody home? Jody is not home. Okay. How about next door? Is Emily home? Yeah. Hi, Emily. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Oh, hey. Got Caroline. Hey, come talk to me. Hello, you must be Mel, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the one... She's the pale one with the purple hair. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. There's Harvey. It is a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Well, that was nice. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, what's this? The bookseller? What's that? Okay. Okay. Some new stuff here. Oh, there's Leah! Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. So we've got Leah down. Hey, it's Miss Mel, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for sheets, for sheets, for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Now let's actually start with some seeds. Like, I know we're supposed to be focusing on uh, animals, but gardening is so nice. <laughs> so I want to get started on that as well. Okay, let's sneak through here. Oh, do we have any forageables up here? No. Okay. We're just going to keep on keeping on. Let's start some seeds right here. I'm gonna need a chest really, really soon. I've got so much stuff in my inventory. Um, but I don't want to sell any of it or drop any of it. We're so new in the game, I need all the resources I pick up. There we go. A nice little starter garden. I was hoping the mixed seeds would give me some potatoes, but 
Oh well, you get what you get. Okay, let's go this way and see who we can find. Oh, there's a little worm spot. Ooh, chipped amphora. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. I don't think I've ever picked up that artifact before in all my different playthroughs. So that's kind of exciting. Okay, let's go this way. Um, it's already after six, so the museum's already closed anyways. Oh, there's Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. Haven't found Maru yet. But we're not done yet. Ooh, he's emerged. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Yeah, well... Whatever. Yeah, I did choose Pelican Town, dude. I, I want to be here. Um... Oh boy, they're still up. Okay, this is Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Humph, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off, humph. Grumpy pants. Alright, let's go over to the saloon. We're actually doing really good meeting everybody so far. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Welcome to the Star Drop Saloon. Can I get you anything? So Gus's is a great place to get some starter recipes for cooking, but we don't even have a kitchen yet, so it's not that important. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Because we're meant to be, Shane. Oh, there's Clint. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Alrighty, so I got through quite a bit of them today. I think I'm missing like Penny and Maru. So I'm missing Sam, Abigail, Penny, Elliot, Maru, Linus. Okay. Marnie. I'm missing quite a few of them. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to have to try tomorrow to finish meeting everybody. Um, but I do have to get ready to go to my doctor's appointment. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break in the middle here and then I will be right back and we'll do another day for this playthrough, for today's playthrough. Um, I did not collect enough wood to make a chest. Let's chop some wood real quick, see how far we can get with the energy we have. All right, we managed to get enough for a chest. That's great. So let's go ahead and craft one. What's that? Oh, neat. Keeps track of their affection and shows when you've pet the animals. This is great. 
Got some collections. Oh, special items. Okay, so there's the bear paw and the onions thing. So it looks like they're expanding the number of keys and stuff you can get. Um, used to be your wallet here. Is that a star drop? What is that? What is that? What are these? This is, what are those? This is all new and exciting. I'm stuttering. Oh, the map has been updated. That looks interesting. It's a lot more detailed and a little bit less charming than it used to be. Oh, it tells you who's where. I don't know if that was always the case. Wizard's Tower, Ruined House, Sewer Pipe. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we were crafting. Hold on. Let's drop the sap for now. There we go. Now we can store all our stuff. Very nice. Alright, let's call it a day. Okay, and then like I said, I will be right back. I gotta go to my doctor's appointment. Okay guys, we are back from the doctor's office, so let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. It is day two of spring, year one. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to check and see who's left to talk to. Okay, we got Willie, Marnie, Linus, Maru, Elliot, Penny, Abigail, Sam. That's quite a few people. Let's see what we got for the weather tomorrow. Oh, rain tomorrow, so that's be good for our plants. And for our luck, bad luck today. Okay, not to worry. Can we? Okay, I just want to know if I could turn that lantern on. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come by. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. All right. So we'll have to go do that. Um, Willie just wants to show us his rod, which is fantastic. Um, let's check on the chickies. Looks like they're already out and about. Okay. There we go. Nope, oh, they still got food, so they're good to go. where the fruit bat cave is. It's over on the side here. Okay. Um, I say fruit bats, but you know, I only ever do mushrooms in that cave, which is fine. We'll probably end up doing that again. I just think it's, uh, you get better returns from the mushrooms. Why are we blinking? Oh, because we need to go to the beach. Okay. And then we also need to drop this pot off to Gunther at the museum. Is that why it's still flashing? Yep. Okay. You know, I do need to talk to Sam. Okay. They're still locked, so that's not a no-go. So let's just go down here and we'll bother Willie for a little bit. Why there, miss? Heard there was a newcomer in the town. Good to finally meet you. 
Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. Well, I guess we could try out this fishing rod. Let's see if we get anything good. Oh no! Okay, so I haven't downloaded the Skip Fishing minigame mod. So I'll need to do that. Because I am not a fan. I am not a fan of the fishing game. Oh, stop that. Okay. I'm just gonna sell this right back. Bream bait. Increases your chance to catch bream. That's neat. That's new. Got a fish smoker. Place fish inside with a piece of coal to create smoked fish, which is worth double the quality of the fish is preserved. And it wants jelly to go with it. That's interesting. Alright, what else we got? Bobber style? Okay. Miniature model of a frigate. A tackle box. It's full of lures, bobbers, hooks, and fishing line. Well, that's all very new and interesting. some shells and some wormies. Ooh, clay. Fantastic. Um, so we are going to need that clay to build the silo for our chickens. I'll just get rid of that clam. Alright, so that's all good. Um, let's head on over to the museum. And we'll drop off this pot. Oh, there's Jazz. We can talk to her again. What? Giggle. Okay. Hi. Okay, so she's starting to warm up to us already, which is fantastic. I hate being creepy to small children. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's a very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. our pot. Boom. Oh. Grunther asked if you'd consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you find to the museum. He says he'll compensate you by way of occasional rare goods. Okay. You can get a little cash out of that. That's pretty great. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting. Okay, so I guess we don't have any treasures just from day one. Um, I did almost leave without saying hi to Penny. Oh, hello! I'm Penny. 
Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. Okay. There we go. So we're doing pretty good making friends with all the folks in town. Um, I do still need to go see Marnie. It's Tuesday, so they should all over be all over at Caroline's. Um, all the ladies, that is. Oh wait, there she is right there. Ah, Marin Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Somebody wants seaweed, so we'll take that. If we happen to finish it, great. If not, that's no big deal. Um, there's Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I've always enjoyed exploring those old, overgrown fields by myself. Yeah, it's a real shame that it's not abandoned anymore. Jody. My husband Kent is a soldier, working overseas. That's why he's not here right now. I know he'll come back safe once his tour is over. I've seen wild horseradish in the forest. Need something? Nope. Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash, or you can use what you find as gifts or food. I work part-time at Gus's saloon. It pays the bills. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Kind of starting to get exhausting. Let's see, I think I still have Sam. Linus, oh, Mara's at work, so I can go snag her over next door. There's Lewis. So how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Is that a reference to the grandpa's bad bed meme? Oh, aren't you the one who moved just moved in? I'm Mario. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. Dynamic. It's exciting. When you get to be my age, you have to see the doctor more often. Uh, let's see, who's left? Linus, Sam. Let's see if Sam's home. he's not, I think he goes and hangs out down by the river in the afternoons. He's home and he's in his room. Okay. We will come back. It doesn't look like Elliot's out yet. Linus. So let's go north and we'll talk to Linus. And then maybe by that time more people will be out and about. It's a long way north. There he is. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Don't worry. I won't mind you, Linus. But I will take this horseradish. Horseradish. The mines are not open yet, which is a shame because I yearn for the mines. I'm going to come get this leak. And since my inventory is kind of full, we can probably go drop these off at home. And then we can make another round through the town and try and find some people. Ideally, I'd love to have met everybody by the end of, by the end of today. Since it's going to be raining tomorrow, it's going to be a lot harder to run into people. They'll mostly be holed up in their houses and in their rooms. That's a great start. 
I know the community center isn't open yet, but it doesn't hurt to start collecting. I don't think I wired these. I did not. There we go. Okay, no forgeables. There he is. Oh, there's Elliot too. Okay. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, now we need to give somebody a gift. have any gifts to give just yet. Hey, I overheard someone saying that you got your first chicken the other day. Man, I wish grandma had chickens. I'd eat a dozen raw eggs for breakfast each morning. I think that's new. I don't think he's talked about that before. Hey, you don't be snooping around the trailer while I'm out. Got it? Sorry, but I gotta be cautious with strangers. Sounds like I should go snoop in their trailer. Oh, that's the trailer, all right. Oh, looks like it's after five. I don't even know what I could give somebody. Um, well, I guess I could look for like dandelions or daffodils down south here in the forest. If I got one of those, I'd be able to have a few more options for gifting. There's a dandelion, so I could give that to Leah. Or, um, I think Linus also likes the dandelions. He likes a lot of forageables. Oh, well, here's Leah right here. Hello, neighbor. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We both live outside of town. Does that mean something? That we hate people? Oh, 100 gold, perfect. House mat. House mat. Mouse. Hat mouse. Woof. Woof. That's that's a rough one to get tongue tied on. Oh yeah, spring onions. I could definitely pull those up. Boop. 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 There's some more down here. Uh, 
Yeah, I wish I could replant them. I'd definitely put them in the greenhouse. It's getting late though. Um, actually, I think this might be a good place to stop the video for today. Um, I would say we were really successful. Um, we went around, we actually managed to meet everybody. Um, so they're all on the board now, you know, except for Rasmodius, the wizard, but I gotta wait for his, uh, event to unlock, and that's not till after the 5th of spring, I think. So, um, I've done all I can on that front for now. And I should, I feel like chickens grow up pretty quick. I should be able to get it my first egg either tomorrow or the next day. So we're actually in really good shape. There we go. I still need the daffodils for the community center. But all in all, this has been a great start to our new Let's Play. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, I'm going to try and get these Let's Plays out weekly, depending on my work schedule. If you could like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.